Hello and welcome to another video here at AV Forums. This time we're taking you through our recommended picture settings for the Sony KD65 XE9005 Ultra HD 4K TV. As always, we reviewed this TV using our calibration equipment, which is the Klein K10A color meter, the Meridio Fresco 6G pattern generator, and Kalman calibration software. And the settings I'm about to show you were based upon that review sample. We can't guarantee these settings will make your picture better. They might actually make them worse, but most of the general settings are certainly worth applying. And you can try some of the more specific settings and see if they work for you, see how they look. Um, so let's start with uh, going into the menu system. Press the action menu on the remote control and then go down to picture. Now we're going to show you settings for a night setting, a day setting, a game setting and also an HDR setting. So starting with the nighttime setting, we're using picture mode Cinema Pro, uh, auto picture mode off and make sure light sensor is also off and then go into advanced settings. Now under the brightness sub menu, we have brightness. In the case of Sony TVs, this actually does mean the brightness of the TV. This controls the backlight. This is a pretty bright TV. Uh, and we found a setting of 8 to 10 should be sufficient for a nighttime mode, depending on what kind of environment you watch TV at night in. So try a setting of 8. If it's uh, a lot of ambient light in the room at nighttime, maybe move it a little bit higher. Contrast, set that to 90. Any higher, and you'll start to clip the details in whites. So set that to 90. Gamma, this is going to be a gamma of 2.4 for our nighttime setting, so set that to minus 2. Black level, this is what's traditionally called a brightness control on many other TVs, but the correct term would be black level. Um, this sets the, the black part of the image, and a setting of 50 gives you deep blacks without crushing shadow detail, so use 50. You can turn black adjust off, and advanced contrast enhancer off. Auto local dimming, you want to set that to, well, you can just select either medium or low for preference, but try medium and see how that works and leave extended dynamic range off. Under color, color you can leave at 50, hue you can leave at zero. We found that the uh, most accurate out of the box color temperature was expert one or expert two, both of them were the same. And then um, we went into the advanced color temperature. There's a bit too much blue in Expert 1. I mean, there was too much blue in all the settings, but the least amount of excess blue was in Expert 1. So what you need to do is just need to bring down, you can't go up with these controls. It's, they start at the maximum, so you bring them down. So bring down green by two and bring down blue by minus seven. And you should take all that blue out of the grayscale and give you a much more accurate grayscale. Under clarity, sharpness, you can leave it 50, it's default setting. Reality creation, you can try playing around with this as a manual setting, as an auto setting. Um, it will add a little bit of sharpness and some processing to the image, um, which does make it appear sharp, but obviously there is processing, processing being done. Uh, give it a try, experiment, see what you think, but for this setting, we've left it off. And then random noise reduction off, digital noise reduction off, and smooth gradation off. Motion, now um, for most content, particularly film-based content, we'd always recommend using Motion Flow True Cinema. There are other settings you can try, experiment with for watching, say, fast-moving sports, but definitely for film-based content and, and dramas, for example, TV dramas, uh, use True Cinema, and then Film Mode we set to low. And under Video Options, you can leave those in their auto settings. So that's our nighttime setting. Now we go back up, and we're gonna select Cinema Home. This is going to be our daytime setting. So still leave auto picture mode off and light sensor off. Go back into the advanced settings. And now you can see we've got a higher brightness setting of 20 for a, a daytime setting. Contrast at 90. Gamma is now at zero, which um, equates to 2.2, which is our gamma target for our daytime setting. Black level, you can still leave at 50. Black adjust off. Advanced contrast enhancer off. Auto uh, local dimming, you can leave at medium. Send the dynamic range off. And then color 50 and hue zero, again, same as before. Color temperature, still expert one, and just use a, a similar settings here. We actually found that minus two and minus six at this time gave us a nice accurate grayscale, took out all the excess blue. Clarity, same as before, 50 for sharpness. Reality creation, feel free to experiment. Random noise reduction off, digital noise reduction off, and smooth gradation off. Motion, again, 
For film-based content, choose cinema and film mode set to low and video options you can leave at auto. So that's our daytime setting. We can go back up and go to the game mode. Obviously this mode is designed to reduce input lag, which it does quite effectively. Uh, and again, auto picture mode off, light sensor off and under advanced settings. We're using the same brightness setting we were using for uh, the daytime setting, 20. Contrast 90 again, gamma zero, black level 50, black adjust off, advanced contrast enhancer off, auto local dimming medium and extended dynamic range off. Color 50, hue zero. Again, expert one, and this time we found that minus three in green and minus eight in blue gave us uh, a nice accurate grayscale. Clarity, uh, you can see most of these are grayed out because the idea is to reduce all the processing to give you the uh, lowest lag possible. So we definitely recommend re leaving reality creation off um, in this mode since you want to keep the lag as low as possible. Sharpness leave at 50, smooth gradation off. And with motion, um, again, we would leave motion flow off uh, in order to minimize any processing and therefore any potential lag and there left it auto. Okay, so that's our nighttime setting, our daytime setting and our game mode setting. These are all for standard dynamic range content, SDR. We're now gonna to switch to an HDR signal and we'll show you some HDR settings as well. Okay, we're now sending an HDR signal. So if we go back into the menu system, select picture, and you can see it says HDR in the top right hand corner. Um, now picture mode, this is the HDR setting for watching movies, etc. Picture mode still Cinema Pro and auto picture mode and light sensor off as before. In the advanced settings, you can now see the brightness will default to maximum. Contrast, you can leave at 90. Gamma, leave at zero. Black level 50 black adjust off and advanced contrast enhancer off, but you do need to make sure you have extended dynamic range high and then use auto local dimming medium. Under color, color 50 and hue zero as before. Again, color temperature expert one, and you can use the same color temperature settings. Live color off. And then under clarity, sharpness 50, reality creation off, random noise reduction, and digital noise reduction off and smooth gradation off. For motion, true cinema again, and for mode you can leave it low, and video options at auto. Okay, now for all you HDR gamers out there, this TV has a game mode that you can use when playing HDR games, which means you can enjoy the reduced input lag even when you're HDR gaming. So we go down to game here, and as before, auto picture mode off and light sensor off and then in the advanced settings brightness again at max contrast at 90 gamma at zero black level at 50 black adjust off advanced contrast enhancer off and as before local dimming at medium and extended dynamic range at high and then for color color 50 hue zero and again expert color temperature expert one and then under the advanced color temperature the same settings as before Got low color off and under clarity sharpness at 50 reality creation off smooth gradation off because you want to keep the processing to a minimum and again motion flow off and video options at auto and there you have it those are our settings for sdr day night and game modes and hdr uh, movie and game modes thanks for watching